I am Stephanie Clippard, and I teach sixth grade bridges at Plaza Middle School. The best part about my job is that I get to work with all of the teams in the school, and I get to create a family with our students and then our parents and our teachers throughout the building. She's technically our gifted teacher, but you see her around the building, and I think that's the thing that makes her really special is while she works really hard to focus on her gifted kids and making sure that their needs are met and that they're challenged, she also works with all of our students. During my break time, so whichever block I'm off, I will um, go seek out some of my students that can use some additional support just in the regular classroom, and I'll kind of push into those classrooms and um, just make sure that they're on task and on target and focused with what they need to be doing. Um, I'll check in and make sure they're sleeping enough. I'll check in and make sure that they've eaten breakfast or lunch and just that they're feeling okay about their day. Sydney McNeil is uh, one of my Olympians. Sydney works really hard every day. She's always participating in conversations that we have for class meetings and giving her ideas. Um, and she works with anybody really well. She makes you think hard. She constantly makes you ask more questions. It makes you think harder and challenges you to be able to get the best answer out of possible. At the beginning of the year, Sydney struggled a little bit with focusing and staying on task, which many of my learners have that struggle. And so we've kind of utilized some strategies and um, gotten help to help her be better focused. And she's become very successful at dialing in on what she needs to be doing and what she needs to complete. She becomes much more open with asking questions and making sure, hey, is this exactly what I'm supposed to be doing? And am I where I need to be? And just checking in. Every day we sit down and we talk about what we're frustrated about or what we're excited for and kind of put it aside at the beginning of class so we can work hard the rest of the time. She's just awesome. <laughs> She's nice and gets us thinking hard. I've been teaching for about 12, 13 years and never received an award like this, but um, it's even more special that it comes from a parent because it tells me that I'm doing the job that I want to be doing as far as making sure that I'm creating those relationships, not just with the students, but with their families and um, with everybody that's in the building. So creating relationships and making sure that I have that family um, ideal and making sure that I'm creating an open space where everybody can communicate with each other is really important. So it means a lot. I am on a very special mission today, and some of you I've seen in some other ones, because I've done this before, where I recognize our amazing staff members. And this time, we pick one elementary, one support staff, and one secondary teacher of the month. And I am here to recognize our gifted teacher, Miss Clifford, for the amazing work that she does all the time. Would you guys give her a huge show of congratulations? We are so proud of you. Thank you so much. She was nominated by one of our parents, and they talked about the wonderful job you do of making the students learners, but also understanding that even in the gifted classrooms, we're all gifted, but how do we use our different talents oh. for all of us, and even when you're in our classroom. So thank you so much. Thank well, you. And I think we have a star for our star, because oh we need to have, make, well, every star needs a star. That's required <laughs> as we go forward. And thank we just you thank so you for much. everything you do to make all of our oh. students a success and thank the leadership you. that you provide in our gifted classroom. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank One you. more time, guys. Thank you so much.